Everywhere in the world, we can observe and be touched by acts of kindness. People from all walks of life, faiths, and cultures extend themselves beyond the call of duty to help others unconditionally. Through their noble deeds, humanity as a whole is elevated. To commend virtuous actions and encourage more people to be inspired by their examples, Supreme Master Ching Hai has lovingly created a series of awards, including the Shining World Leadership Award, Shining World Compassion Award, Shining World Hero and Heroine Awards, Shining World Honesty Award, Shining World Protection Award, Shining World Intelligence Award, and Shining World Inventor Award to recognize some of the most exemplary, generous, caring, and courageous people who walk amongst us. Mr. Zubiru Jallo works as a taxi driver in Brooklyn, New York, USA. One Sunday afternoon, while on duty, he helped a lady with disabilities to get into his taxi. When he opened the door, he discovered that a previous passenger had forgotten a bag. It was Sunday evening. When I opened the back door, I just saw this white bag. So. I took the bag with me at the front seat, so when the lady was inside the car, I closed the door for her, so when I dropped her, so I continued my journey all the way to the Grand Mox. So when I finished doing my prayer, I decided to open the bag. I saw a lot of stuff inside. And first of all, I saw pictures from the German family pictures, like weddings or parties, and a bank books. I was trying to find out if I can see any business card or any phone number. I haven't saw that at all. And I saw something like a little small case. It's a big jewelry. And like necklace so big and huge. It looked like the diamond is inside. But the chain is a gold. But the thing here is a huge one. I took it home with me. Because, and I saw to my wife, and I said, this I find inside my taxi. Please keep it. Somewhere, let me see if I'm gonna find out who is the owner. In addition, Mr. Jallo asked his wife to answer all phone calls in case the owner would try to make contact. Indeed, the next day he received a call from the owner. To ensure a secure transfer, Mr. Jallo personally delivered the necklace and the rest of the items. I saw already the pictures inside the bag. So I said, I know exactly that is the right person for this bag. I said, can I have your ID? So he gave me his ID. I saw the picture on his ID, and I saw the pictures were the inside the bag the same. And um, I said, OK, when you do me a favor, you make a little piece of paper, you sign, and you give it to me, so I'm going to give you your bag back. When I give it to him, he opened the bag, money was inside, like $229. He said, Mr. Jello, can I ask you a question? I said, yes, go ahead. Can you tell me why you give me this? I said, first of all, this is my ethics. This is the way I raised by my family. My mom raised me this way. I'm a Muslim, I practice my religion. Um, it's not belong to me. I know this sin is belong to someone else. He said, do you know how the value of this sin? I said, no. He said, this thing is more than $75,000. Thank you very much. And right away, he gave me $1,000. I said, sir, if it's for the money, it's not worth it for me to come here. I don't need your money. This is the way I am. Keep your money and just pray for me. All that time, he already contacted all the medias. Before we finished talking, all the medias, it was right there. Mr. Jallo, a devoted Muslim, explained how his faith guides him in everyday thoughts and actions. No. <laughs> it was no hesitation because it's not belong to me, period. 
Of course, I discipline myself always to follow all the rules, what Islam said. Peace and unity and justice for all. I believe in every human being. We are all the same people. Always this the way my religion guide me. Be nice to people. It doesn't matter you guys the same religion. Oh no, but you are all human beings. That's what Islam told me and that's what exactly what I'm doing. I'm looking for the brightness and goodness. I hope everybody will be like that way. You know, join hand together, that we live together. I'm looking for peace and good and brightness for me and my children and for everyone. For Mr. Jallo's honesty and high morals, Supreme Master Ching Hai honored him with the Shining World Honesty Award, along with 1,000 U.S. dollars. She expressed her admiration for his deed in a personal letter. Dear Mr. Jallo, it is with great admiration and gratitude that we present to you the Shining World Honesty Award. This award is presented in recognition of your exemplary model of truthfulness and integrity that sets an outstanding example of high moral living, and for your pious belief in Allah's holy laws which create a better world for us all. Your actions were a great example and a credit to the Muslim faith, beautifully inspiring and reminding us of the fine qualities of goodness and virtue inherent within all of us and will surely encourage greater trust and respect in our daily lives. We sincerely thank you, Mr. Jallo. May Allah bless you for your outstanding integrity and honorable endeavors. With great honor, love, and blessings, Supreme Master Ching Hai. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. I am so humble and grateful to have this, thank you. Next up, we have the actual Shining World Honesty Award um, from Supreme Master Ching Hai for Zubiro Jello, exemplary citizen, in recognition of exceptional honesty, honoring Allah with faith, truthfulness, and integrity, by demonstrating the highest ideals of morality and goodness. Wow, <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much. Beautiful, thank you. And we have a gift of $1,000 from Supreme Master Ching Hai. Wow, thank you so much. It is so big and huge. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Mr. Jallo also received gifts of books and DVDs from Supreme Master Ching Hai, including her number one international bestsellers, The Dogs in My Life, The Birds in My Life, and The Noble Wilds. It is so good, you know, we join hand together to make our life easy and simple for everyone to live, let we try to love one another. Thank you again, thank you very much, and thank everyone. The second recipient of the Shining World Honesty Award featured in today's program is Mr. Ghazi Adra, a factory worker from Sydney, Australia. Mr. Adra was on his way home when he noticed that something was catching the attention of passers-by on a seat of the train he was exiting. It was an unattended lunchbox. Hoping to find some information inside that would help him locate its owner, Mr. Adra took the container home. So I carried that little bag with me mm -hmm. and I went home. I left it on the table. I didn't look what inside. I have my tea, my shower, and I talk to my wife. Two mm -hmm. hours later, I said, oh, let me check out what's inside that bag. So I, I opened the bag, and there was a, an envelope, a yellow big envelope inside the bag. So I look at the envelope and said, well, what's inside the envelope? To my amaze, I saw it's like money, oh. all American money, really? said, brand new. I said, that's not real, isn't it? <laughs> or it could be some, you know, some people play some yeah. games using it, like artificial money. So inside that envelope also, there was a, a receipt. When I look oh. at the receipt, it says from St. George Bank, oh. and there was the name of the person who withdrew $50,000 American Whoa. from the bank. He, really? they, convert, they converted Australian dollars to American yeah. dollars. Then I knew this is a real money, it's not fake. Shocked by the finding, Mr. Adra shared the news with his wife. 
<laughs> my God, I was a bit nervous and shaky, you know, because I never hold fifty thousand dollars cash in my hand. I mean, you know, neither. <laughs> So I straight away, my wife, she was in her uh, room checking something on the internet, always calling her darling. I said, darling, Hannah, look, I found this, a uh, lot of money. She said, oh, come on, is this one of your <laughs> jokes, you know? I said, honest, darling, look, look at the money. So she looked at this money, I said, they are real money, they are real money. She said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to go take it straight to the police, and they, they can find out the real uh, rightful owner. So you thought that straight away, you did Yeah, that's right, yeah, I never hesitate, like, they, oh, let, let me think about it next day, or, yeah. you know, uh, keep some of this money or keep it. Said, never, never occurred to me. Straight away I said, no, th this money has to go back straight to the police and they will find the rightful owner. I said, you can imagine that person when they, they yeah. realize they lost their money. Yeah. They will never be sleeping, you know, they will be oh, crying. Yeah. You never know, see? That's so beautiful. It, it, it break, break your heart. I will never ever keep something that doesn't belong to me, see? Yeah. If you need something, it will come to you in the right way. The police indeed found the lady who lost the money. On the phone she said, thank you, Gezi. Mm. And then later, the day tonight, they arranged for her. So Amazing. we meet and said, oh, I'm so happy that you got the money. Give me a hug, she gave me a hug. So I was so nice. yeah, happy for her, you see. And then uh, the next day, she, she rang my son, Bill, or she talked to him, she said, mm. said I'd like to give a uh, uh, reward for your father, of a thousand dollars reward. Yeah. And then she gave him a thousand dollars, which he brought to me the next day. I said, yeah. Bill, I don't want that money, but uh, I'd like to donate that money to the Queensland flood, flood appeal because a lot of people they lost their homes, they lost yeah. their property. Yeah. Probably they need that money more than I do. Oh, see, there's yeah. always need, people badly need it than yeah. we are. See, so we like to help all one family. I went to the bank and give them thousand yeah. dollars donation. So really make me feel proud. Give me a peaceful mind. You see that I done mm -hmm. something which, you know, you everyone everyone should do. See, mm -hmm. and that's my message to everyone, not yeah. only in Australia, and all over the world. Yeah. I'm sure there, there are thousands of people and thousands, they will do exactly the same. Mr. Audra's wife proudly spoke of her husband. I'm very, very um, lucky to be with him. He, he is a very, very good man yeah. in every way possible. It's true. I'm, I'm very proud. Mr. Audra attributed his behavior to his upbringing and observance of the Muslim tenets which highly emphasized the importance of honesty and goodness. We were brought like this since we were little kids. Mm -hmm. at, uh, at home, you see, my parents, they always tell us, you, know, you have to be very honest. Mm -hmm. You never touch something that doesn't belong to you. If you find at school a pencil or ruler, yep. don't bring it home. This is not yours. Even small things. Even small things, just give it to the teacher. The same thing also in our, like every religion, you see, mm -hmm. they always tell you that how to be good to others, you know, you don't have to take something, you know doesn't belong to you. See, every single religion teach, teach you the rightful things. Which, that's also my beliefs too. If everybody follow exactly what we've been told to do, I think we live in a better world, <laughs> that's yeah. for sure. Islam is like all other religions. Always you know, teaches people the right way. Mm -hmm. To be honest with your life, to be uh, faithful, you see. Like the same with other religions, almost the same. You see, this, I mean, Islam is a wonderful religion. It is a religion of love. Religious of trust. For his noble deed and way of life, Mr. Adra was recognized by Supreme Master Ching Hai with the Shining World Honesty Award and a contribution of 1,000 Australian dollars for his personal use. She conveyed her appreciation in the following letter. Dear Mr. Adra, it is with much admiration and gratitude that we present to you the Shining World Honesty Award. This award is presented in recognition of your inspiring example of truthfulness, integrity, and high moral living, and thus helping to create a better world. Dear Mr. Adra, the choice you made in returning the money shows that you are well on the path to glory, and heaven will greet you as a most beloved son when you return to the true riches and bounty of paradise, where the everlasting treasure is found. That your family supported you in your noble-hearted choice also shows what a wonderful father you are and that you have taught them how to value those things in life that are more precious than gold and rubies. For your purity of heart and mind, for living a saintly life, for the excellent values you have instilled in your family, and for providing such a wonderful example of wisdom and integrity for all to see, we hereby applaud and celebrate the shining honesty of Mr. Ghazi Adra, a true blue model Australian. With great honor, love, and blessings, Supreme Master Ching Hai. 
Mr. Audra graciously thanked Supreme Master Ching Hai for the award, her contribution of 1,000 Australian dollars, and other gifts which contained her number one international best-selling books and DVDs. I'd like to thank you very much for this lovely mm -hmm. award you gave me. Make me feel humbled and honored, and I will treasure this for the rest of my life. I'll just make sure it will be passed to my grandchildren and so they can be proud of this one and they said this is what the grandfather did and we have to follow his steps and you know to, to do exactly what we've been doing and that's how exactly we teach our children and I think every family they will teach their children the same way as we did. Our sincere thanks Mr. Zubiru Jallo and Mr. Ghazi Adra for your admirable nature of righteousness and goodness. May you, your loved ones, and future generations be ever more blessed with inner purity and contentment with Allah's munificent blessings. Gentle viewers, thank you for joining us today. Words of Wisdom is coming up next, right here on Supreme Master Television. Wishing you abundant grace from heaven. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee